Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House and in this video we're going to be showing you the Elite Series and why you need your sunblock for this one. Alrighty, so underneath this particular panel right now we've got it set and isolated to the UVA spectrum. Now remember UV, it's quite a savage spectrum so we always recommend using eyewear um, and to be honest probably not being under it without wearing a bit of sunscreen. So what we're going to do is we're going to just show you right now what it's like to transition over to the IR spectrum. And there we have the IR spectrum, so that's your far red, and as you'll see it's actually quite a dim 730 focused wavelength, so that particular wavelength there is going to be there for triggering the Emerson effect of your plants. Now, the main thing to understand between the UV and the IR is they are both dimmer controlled, so what we're going to pretty much recommend is adjusting the dimmers to suit your plant's needs and requirements, because you can overdo it with these particular spectrums. This 1000 watt panel here, it is so powerful that you want to regulate what you're feeding your plants because you can give them too much in a lot of applications. So now that you've seen the two vital spectrums here, we'll just transition over and we'll show you what the main light is, and that is of course the Samsung Allium 301H. And there we have the Samsung Allium 301H running at 25% capacity because it is so bright we have to turn all of these things down. Now this is actually a combination of 3000K and 5000K white light and like I said it is the LM 301H series. So they've stepped up from the B series to the H series known as the Horticulture series which is going to offer a slight advantage in efficacy or efficiency there. Now main consideration here and the real upgrade for the elites is the number of diodes that they have used. So for this 1000 watt panel we have here there are 4050 diodes which is a considerable amount and then for the 640X elite variant there is a 2340 amount of Samsung diodes which is a 64% increase that's that's quite dramatic for any LED so what that means is basically you're going to be using the same wattage for the 640X and you're going to get a lot more light out of the panel so in this video we will be covering a PPFD map in this 1x5x1x5 by 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 polar tent by Eclipse to get some real world numbers and just see how these perform but before we do that I'm just going to show you those dimmers and the functionality of them these are in fact a UV and IR controlled panel via these two dimmers on the left and the main dimmer on the right is going to be controlling the main white light which is of course the Samsung LM 301H series diodes. Absolutely fantastic diode, just that little bit more efficient than the B diode which is why they've gone for this on the Elite series. So moving on from that really quickly we're just going to go back to the UV and IR. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to isolate the spectrum here on the dimmer. These are completely controllable from 0 to 100% of course. So what I've got here is the IR that I've cranked right up so you can see what's going on. The IR slash far red as we like to call it is a fantastic spectrum for things like Emerson effect and sleep initiation. So there's a lot to learn about what IR has to offer and same for UV so I'll just quickly turn this one down and crank up the UV so you can see what's going on there. So the main thing to notice is the dimmer control because you don't want to turn these up full power all the time. There are specific times when you want to use this intensity and how is it applied. You can overexpose your plants to either of these two spectrums. You want to use them in moderation. So that's going to be very specific to the stage of plant growth and what plant you are dealing with of course. So. Those are the two main dimmers that we recommend to play around with and then of course you've got the main dimmer. So they can be used in a combination, it's just applying that combination to suit your plants. In this particular panel, the 1000 watt Elite, it's a lot of power and it's a lot of grunt, that's why we recommend these for most likely a CO2 application for a lot of people. The 640X Elite is the same size as this panel, it's just got that lower wattage. So for a lot of people that's probably going to be the go-to, but for those who are chasing very, very high intensity, you can't go past the 1000 watt. So what we're going to do is now that we've mentioned just the dimmer control which is of course the main feature for controlling this panel, we're going to flip it over and we're going to run through the diodes and show you what's actually going on on the front face of this LED. So what we've done here for the sake of comparison is we've set up both panels one on top of the other just so you can see the actual differences here and realistically there's not a heck of a lot of difference in physical dimensions, it might be a bit of an optical illusion but the 640X here Elite is the same as the 1000 Elite. Now key difference, wattage. 640 watts at full power across all three dimmers, 1000 watts at full power across all three dimmers. This, that's of course a variable number when you start playing with the dimmers it will lower but respectively those are their peak rated wattages. So we felt it was worth showing you guys the difference of having the less bars on the 640X, don't get me wrong, 
both of these lights are going to perform very well for a 1.5 by 1.5 grow tent such as this. We'll be covering that shortly with the par meter. However, with the two side by side, you can clearly see there is a lot more going on with the 1000, and that is realistically what's making up the difference in wattage there. Okay, so here we have the front side of the panel. Now, this is what your plants are gonna be looking at, of course. We wouldn't recommend you looking at the side of the panel unless it is off, or you've got some very serious protective eyewear. Now, what makes a good LED is the combination of diodes and how many there are. Now, in this particular panel, they're using the LM301H Samsung diodes, absolutely fantastic that makes up the left and right column of this LED now I'll just flick those diodes on so you can just get an idea of what they look like I'll give the camera a second to focus there now you'll see there's actually some red diodes on the left there those are the Osram 660 wavelength focused diodes so they are there to supplement that particular wavelength typically used more for your flowering stage but they're used alongside the main light anyhow so I'll just flick that off there and in the center up the middle of the LED strip, you'll see there's two diodes there. One of those is the IR, which I will turn on now. This is just on its last dimmer setting, so you can get an idea of what that looks like. And then I'll flick that one off. And then the one diode up and down from there is the UB, so I'll just turn that on like so. So these are at their lower setting, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Please remember UV light is considered quite a dangerous wavelength of light and eye protection must be worn at all time. We are actually wearing them behind the camera now just to be safe as the spectrum is quite harsh. So I'll just flick that off now and what we'll do is now that we've covered the diodes that are on this panel, if I forgot to mention there's actually 4050 Samsung diodes on these panels, it makes them run super efficient because they have such a high amount of them. It really does bring the efficacy up and makes these panels that extra bit better and gives them an edge over every other panel we have tested and this does apply for the 640X Elite. The 640X Elite has 64% more LM301 series diodes than the 640X standard. So that's quite a considerable jump and that will actually add up to adding some really good numbers when we do our PPFD map, which we're gonna move on to now. Okay, so what we've done is we've set up the Elite 1000X here, again in a polar eclipse uh, grow tent in a 1.5, 1.5 space. This is gonna help give us some really good numbers here. We've set the height at 50 centimeters. We've got all three dimmers cranked up and we're using a very special Apogee sensor which we've just installed down the back there to start taking readings. That's loaned to us by Josiah and Yuri over at Skyman Industries. Uh, the reason we're using the sensor is because it's gonna give us some really good uh, values for our far red or infrared values, which we definitely wanna measure here. So. We'll do a quick time lapse and uh, get some values. I will mention though, uh, at the end of the time lapse, we do actually close the doors um, as we get over to this front section, just to ensure we're getting some accurate numbers. Let's get started. Okay, so to conclude the testing, what we saw out of this 1000 watt panel was incredibly impressive and even the 640, however, we will mention that our testing instruments were limited to only the infrared and the visible spectrum from the white light. The ultraviolet, we were not, were not able to factor that in with our testing instruments. So bearing that in mind, we've got some PAR maps that are probably floating around me right now. That's gonna be showing the 1000 watt PAR map and the 640X PAR map in the 1.5, 1.5 tent. I will mention the 640X you could fit in a 1.2 quite comfortably, bearing in mind that those numbers are reasonably lower on the outer edges. However, still a great panel for a 1.5 space. The 1000 water, we're definitely gonna recommend that being your CO2 supplemental panel. When we're hitting you know, 1500 or 1800 in the center, that is CO2 territory hands down. So we'd highly recommend dancing around, having enough CO2 in there to keep your plants happy and adjusting all the parameters on this light. So the UV and the IR are gonna be what allows you to get the most from your plants. Dialing that in is gonna make the difference and for a lot of people, that is what will make the Elite panel well worth the while for them. So with that in mind, the 1000 water panel or the 1000 Elite, sorry. We saw a 2.6 U-mole per watt average across this panel, which is very good numbers for what we'd like to see from a panel this size, and particularly a tent that space. Very impressive, and of course, all of these panels are built off the backbone of what the Helios had to offer in, in the X-Series, let's say, not the Elites. So that's the passive cooling, the reliable drivers, and the modular dimmers. They've proven to be great panels, and we're looking forward to seeing how these play out for our customers, but so far in our testing, we're finding them to be very impressive. So I hope you enjoyed watching this, and if you have any questions at all, just get in touch with us here at Herbal House.